So this is question two from the spring 2015 uh, AMATIC student math league contest. Uh, this question says an arithmetic progression of positive integers with a1 equals 2 and an equals 47 has common difference greater than 1. What is the maximum number of terms it could have? Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to start with a1 equals 2 here. a2 is going to be well, 2 plus, so a1 plus, let's call the difference, how about d here? So we're going to add d. a3 is going to be 2 plus, we're going to add another d, so that's going to give us 2d. a4 is going to be 2 plus another d, that's going to be 3d. And when we get down here, a n, now we don't know what n is, this is going to end up being 2 plus, well, let's see, we have 2, for the third term we have, 2ds for the fourth term 3ds so this can be n minus 1ds and this is also supposed to be 47. So we have a formula for the nth term here based on just an arithmetic progression with difference d and we know from the problem that that's 47. Now what we can do is we can solve for d now. So we know d has to be an integer, actually a positive integer, because every term in our arithmetic progression is a positive integer. So for if d wasn't an integer, then 2 plus d wouldn't be an integer. So we can solve for d. We know it's an integer. So what I can do is I can subtract 2 from both sides of this equation. I get n minus 1 times d equals 45. Um, well, I get here, and now I'm trying to think about, I want to get the maximum number of terms. That I'm going to make n as big as possible, so I'm going to make d as small as possible. So let's just go up here and keep working with this. We'll get n, whoops, n minus 1 is 45 over d. We know n is an integer, 1 is an integer, so d has to be some factor of 45. We have to get a whole number to do the division, and our goal is to make n as big as possible. Um, so we really want to make d as small as possible. Now that would really be 1, but our common difference is greater than 1. So the next smallest factor of 45 is 3. We can't do 2 because 45 is not even. So what we can do is we're going to pick d equal to 3. And that tells us n minus 1 is going to be 15. That tells me n is 16. So a n, this is 16. What is the maximum number of terms it could have? Well, presumably they mean from a1 up to a16. Um, I guess the progression could keep going forever infinitely here, but they must mean from a1, basically finding the largest possible value of n, number of terms from a1 to n, and go with c, answer being 16.